Okay, so hello, grade 11, noble. So, all tracks, English for academic and professional purposes. So, uh, for lesson number one, we have academic uh, academic text structure. So, academic text is defined as critical, objective, specialized text written by experts or professional. So, sila yung usually na nagkakandak ng academic text structures. Pagka sinabing structures, sila yung uh, may sinusunod. May sinusundan silang, uh, kumbaga sa math, may formula. So, sila, ganun din. Pagka sinabing structures, pagdating naman sa academic text. Then, this means that academic text are based on facts with solid basis. Pag sinabing basis, may proof. May proven siya. Pinatunayan, uh, na, na approve So, may basis siya na pinanggagalingan. So, it is generally quite formal, objective, impersonal, and technical. So, that is the meaning of academic text structures. So, again, sino ulit ang gumagamit nito usually? Yun yung mga experts and professionals. Next. Literary analysis. So, a literary analysis essay examines, evaluates, and makes an argument about a literary work. As its name suggests, a literary analysis essay goes beyond mere summarization. So, when we say analysis, uh, ito yung tinitingnan, chinecheck, ini-evaluate, binibigyan ng grade. So, may analysis, may sinusundan. Kumbaga, may rubric na tinitingnan. Okay? So, yun yung literary analysis. Third is the research paper. So, familiar naman kayo uh, with the research studies. Ngayon, uh, in your uh, second semester, you are going to take the practical research. So, mas magiging deep pa yung inyong uh, understanding about research. So, what is research paper? A research paper uses outside information to support a thesis or make an argument. Research papers are written in all disciplines and may be evaluative, analytical, or critical in nature. So, when we say research paper, uh, ito yung uh, naghahanap ka ng problema. Pero yung, problem, uh, yung problema, hahanapan mo din ng Solution. So, in research paper, you're going to create or make your own uh, problem. Ano ba yung interested ninyo? Saan ba yung, ano ba yung mga bagay na gusto ninyong uh, alamin? Yung mga uh, kasagutan, maaring ito ay personal, maaring uh, na-experience ninyo na bakit nga ba, ma'am, bakit, bakit ganito po, iniwan ako ng walang dahilan. So, pwedeng pwede nating hanapan ng solution niyan. With the help of research paper, because it will be uh, evaluative, analytical, or critical in nature. So, maraming pag-aaral ang ma, uh, maraming pag-aaral na makikita ka na pwedeng mag-support dun sa research paper ninyo. And then, um, sa research paper, nandun yung support. Kasi, uh, kung ito yung lumabas sa result nyo, at merong support kayong na-research about dun sa, sa problem na yun or about dun sa topic na yun. So, isang uh, good, good na yun for your research paper kasi meron kayong basis, meron kayong uh, pinanggagalingan, may pinanggalingan, may, may support, may support basis kayo dun sa uh, topic or sa title ninyo. Okay, next is dissertation. A dissertation or it thesis na mismo is a document submitted at the, uh, at the conclusion of a PhD program. A di uh, the dissertation is a book-length summarization of the doctoral candidate's research. So, ito naman mga anak, uh, ang gumagawa na nito is yung mga nagdo-doctoral. So, kung kayo yung mag-teacher, uh, gusto nyo higher position, at gusto nyo madagdagan yung kaalaman ninyo, so pwede kayong mag-masteral. Pwede kayong kumuha ng masteral degree, and then pag natapos na siya, nakagraduate kayo, 
pwede kayo mag-doctoral. So, ito, yung dissertation, sila yung usually, sila talaga yung gumagawa ng dissertation is yung mga nag-doctoral. Okay? And then, after that, after the, the long journey of uh, defense, pagdating sa uh, dissertation ninyo, uh, ipapabok ba niyo yun? Kung baga, uh, ikukumpile niyo yun, pagsasamasamahin niyo yun, and then, you have to submit it to, depende kung anong school yun. So, if, if done, kung natapos nyo, nag-graduate uli kayo for your doctoral uh, degree. Okay? Next is structure. Structure is an important feature of academic writing. Yes. A well-structured text enables the reader to follow the argument and navigate the text in academic writing, a clear structure and a logical flow are imperative to a cohesive text. So, like what uh, I've said dun sa umpisa, mahalaga yung structure. Mahalaga na uh, hindi sinasab, kailangan dito uh, grammarian daw, kailangan uh, magaling sa English, yes. Pero, kung alam natin yung way, ng, alam natin yung process or yung procedure, or ng structure, madali natin siyang magagawa. Kung kabisado natin ang mga uh, terms sa English, so, kayang-kaya natin uh, makapagsulat, makapag-create ng mga uh, gusto natin uh, iparating, gusto natin gawin. With the help of structure. Next. So, we have the three-part essay structure. So, first, Oh, so, what are those? The three-part essay structure is a basic structure that consists of introduction, body, and conclusion. So, the introduction and the conclusion should be shorter than the body of the text. So, for shorter essays, one or two paragraphs for each of the sections can be appropriate. So, for longer text or thesis, they may be several pages long. So, what are those three parts uh, of essay structure? So, ito, madalas nyo itong gawin. Ngayon, lalo na kayo ay senior high school. So, dapat, kayang-kaya nyo makapagsulat, makapag-create, makapag-isip ng mga uh, kailangan malawak ang inyong pangunawa. Marami kayong ideas, marami kayong uh, gustong sabihin based on your experience, or marami mang kayong source. So, mahalaga na marami tayong alam para once na nagpagawa si teacher, madami kayong insert. Ibig sabihin, madami kayong uh, masasabi. Pero dapat, lagi natin tandaan, uh, meron tayong structure na sinusunod. So, ano po iyon? First is the introduction. So, its purpose is to clearly tell the, uh, the reader the topic. Ano ba yung topic mo? Purpose and structure of the paper. Bakit iyon ang topic na yon na gusto mong isulat. So, halimbawa, ngayon, uh, we are facing the, the pandemic, which is the COVID-19. So, you have to, to gather data. So, what is COVID-19? Kailan siya nag-start? Kailan siya, uh, saan siya nagmula? So, dapat alam natin yon. Then, as a rough guide, an introduction might be between 10 and 20% of the length of the whole paper and has three main parts. So, what are those three main parts? First is the most general information, such as background or definition. So, if your title would be the COVID-19, so you have to, to gather data uh, or the background. Ano ba itong COVID-19 na to? Or ano ba ang definitions nito? Ganyan. Then, second is the core of the introduction. Where you show the overall topic, purpose, your point of view, hypothesis, or research, questioning. So, in in gathering uh, essay, pwede kang uh, magtanong. So, ano ba ito? Uh, for what purposes ba ito? Then, um... Uh, Kumbaga, ikaw yung nagsusulat, ikaw yung author, pwede ka rin magtanong. And you have to answer it directly. So, ipaliliwanag mo yun sa body. Next is, the most specific information describing the scope and structure of your 
paper. So, mahalaga na meron kang background knowledge doon sa topic mo. Next is the body. The body, it develops the question, what is the topic about? It may be elaborate directly on the topic sentence by giving definitions, cla uh, classifications, explanations, contrast, examples, and evidence. So, dito, pwede nyo na ipaliwanag lahat. So, based on your experience, nagka-lockdown, so yan, pwede nyo na ikwento ano yung uh, naging dulot ng COVID-19, ano yung mga naging uh, ilang percent. So, maganda yung may mga ganong part kasi uh, meron kang basis, meron kang pinagkuhanan, merong proof na talagang nag-research ka para doon sa topic mo. So, pero kung gagawa kayo, hindi naman syempre i-required na i-research nyo yung isusulat ninyo. Mahalaga pa rin na lahat ng ilalagay ninyo ay manggagaling sa inyo. Kaya, if your topic would be the latest uh, news sa atin dito sa Philippines, so, dapat nanonood kayo ng news, ng balita, nakikinig kayo sa radyo, para marami kayong uh, maisulat, marami kayong masabi. Yan. This is considered as the heart of the essay because it expounds the specific ideas for the readers to have a better understanding of the topic. It usually is the largest part of the essay. Yes. So, siya yung pinaka uh, malaman, siya yung maraming nilalaman, which is the body. Then, the third one is the last is the Conclusion. The conclusion is closely related to the introduction and is often described as its minor image. This means that if the introduction begins with general information and ends with specific information, the conclusion moves in the opposite direction. So here, if your title would be the COVID-19 again, so you have to... To, to recommend something. What are your conclusions? Ano bang dapat gawin? Ano ba ang dapat uh, gawin ng uh, nakararami para hindi na, siya, uh, hindi na lumago yung cases ng uh, COVID-19? So, dito, uh, magbibigay ka na ng ideas mo. Your, your opinion, your uh, your thoughts, your uh, yung mga gusto mo pang ihabol. So, pwede yan sa conclusion. So, pinakamahalaga din yan ang conclusion. Lahat sila. The three main part is the first is the introduction. Second is the the body. And then, the third one is the conclusion. So, kung itong tatlo na to ay uh, magagawa ninyo sa isang uh, sa isang uh, essay writing ninyo uh, which is kailangan may structure so okay yan lahat at dapat hindi pa iba-iba ang inyong uh, opinion hindi pa iba-iba ang inyong gustong sabihin at dapat hindi kayo lalayo dun sa topic mismo so baka mamaya COVID-19 is your topic Pero, ang dinidiscuss mo is the uh, ABS-CBN franchise. So, what is the connection between the two? So, medyo lihis na siya. So, hindi siya pa pwede. Kailangan, focus tayo sa kung anong topic or title ang gagawin natin. Okay? So, I hope uh, naintindihan ninyo. Madali lang siya. Actually, uh, introduction pa lang ito for the English uh, sa subject natin, English for Academic and Professional Purposes. So, dito, uh, mabubugbog kayo ng paggawa ng mga essay, which is, I, I uh, correct your grammar, of course, the content, of course, so, titignan natin yan. And then, uh, yung inyong content, dapat marami kayong alam, marami kayong uh, masasabi dun sa topic or dun sa topic na ibibigay para sa inyo. Okay? So, uh, I hope uh, naintindihan nyo yung aking uh, discussion. So, thank you for your listening. God bless you. And uh, for this week, no more activity. Next week ako magsisimula. Okay? 
So, thank you. Keep safe, mga anak. God bless you. Thank you.